Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing e-commerce application from scratch using Angular and Spring Boot. In the last session, we discussed on how we can create one Angular component so that uh, we can show all the order details to the admin. So in the last session, we created this particular tab that is called as a order information. And whenever admin will click on this particular tab, then admin will be able to see all the uh, orders which are placed by the different users. So this is the information that uh, this is the component that we have added in the last session itself. Now in this session, what we are going to do is we are just going to add one button in front of every single row so that whenever admin will click on that button, then the status of that um, uh, like particular order will get changed to the delivered. So we are going to add one button, let's say mark as delivered and whenever uh, like order will get delivered then admin have to do some manual process and admin have to click this particular button so as of now we don't have any kind of uh, logistics or we don't have any kind of delivery networks and that is the reason we have to follow this particular manual process but if we want we can just implement kind some something kind of like uh, physical uh, delivery uh, networks and if you have some logistics also then also we can just think from that perspective but as of now we don't have that functionalities we don't have that kind of networks that is the reason we have to uh, like add some manual uh, process over here so what admin have to do is admin have to make sure that this particular order is completed and this particular order is actually delivered to the uh, user to the end user and once order is actually delivered to the end user then and only then admin have to click on this particular button and admin have to confirm that this particular order is delivered so this is the manual process that as of now at least we have to follow so let's see how we can do these things again to do this we have to do some some changes at the back end we have to create some api and we have to create some changes at the ui as well so these are kind of minimal changes so we don't have to invest a lot of time so that is the reason we are just going to cover both of these changes in a single video itself so first of all let me just go back to the intellij let's see how we can add one new api and how we can uh, like uh, use that api from our angular application so currently i am in my uh, order detail controller so let me just create one new api that is public as of now let me just keep it as a void and then let me just give the method name as mark order as delivered something like this now this method is going to take one parameter but before that let me just first of all uh, use get mapping over here and then we have to configure a path so let me just give a path as mark order as delivered and then we have to give some path variable as well because we need the order id so that is the reason we have to use uh, like let's suppose order id something like this so this is going to be a uh, like path variable so that is the reason we have to use in this particular way now after this we have to use at the rate pre-authorize because we just want to um, allow this particular api to be used by the admin only that is the reason we have to use pre-authorize and we have to use has role and we have to pass the admin role something like this now let me just do one thing let me just configure my path variable also so let me we have to just use at the rate path variable then we have to give name is equals to and we have to give the name as order id something like this and after that we have to give integer not here after this after this bracket we have to give integer and let me just give the name as order id something like this now we are able to get the order id the next thing that we uh, i'm just going to do is i'm just going to go to the order retail service inside the order detail service i'm just going to create one more method so let me just create one more method so let me just check yes so let me just create one more method that is public and not a public we can okay so let me just keep it as public only and let me just keep as of now void and then let me just make it as mark uh, order as delivered 
again it is going to take one parameter which is a order id so let me just use integer order id something like this now over here what we want is we just want to first of all uh, use order detail dao so what we uh, have to do is we have to just use order detail dao so let me just use order detail dao dot find by id and then we have to just use order id something like this now it is going to return us an uh, object of order detail so let me just use order detail order detail something like this now over here we are just getting one error so the error that we are getting is due to the optional because find by id return us an optional and that is the reason we are just getting the error so to resolve this we have to just call dot get method something like this now we are able to get the order details so what we have to do is we have to just check if uh, order detail not equals to null something like this and if it is null then we will just um, like keep everything otherwise if it is not null then what we have to do is we have to change the status so we have to just do one thing we have to just use order detail dot set order status and then we have to give the status as delivered something like this and after that we have to just do one thing we have to just use order detail dot save and we have to just save back this particular order detail something like this now let me just save these changes and let me just come back to the order detail dao and let me just use order detail service dot mark order as delivered and then we have to use order id as a parameter something like this and now uh, i think we don't have to return anything because we are just changing the status itself so we don't have to return anything if you want you can return some value as well maybe some boolean value or something like this but as of now i'm just not going to return anything so i'm just going to keep it as void only now our api is created let me just restart my application let's see whether uh, our application starts successfully or do we get any kind of errors so yes my application started successfully the next thing that we have to do is we have to just call this particular api that we have created from our angular application so let's see how we can do this so let me just go back to the vs code and over here first of all let me just go to the order detail component that we have added in the last session itself and let me just let me just go to the uh, order detail dot component dot html file over here we just want to add one more column because on the ui we just want one more column at the end that is called as action so let me just add one more column but before adding it let me just go to the order detail dot component dot ts and over here at the end let me just add um one like in, inside displayed columns array let me just add one more column uh, header so that column header header will be the action action something like this and make sure you are just adding it at, uh, otherwise you will get some errors so just uh, add the actions and let me just come back to the order detail component dot html so over here we can just copy this particular ng container and we can just paste it make sure you are just changing this mat column definition to the action so we have to just change um, the mat column definition and make sure whatever you have added over here exactly same name you are also adding over here something like this and then let me just change a status as well let me remove this element because i just don't want this particular element as of now so instead of it we have to just add one button let me just uh, use one class that is called as a mat raised button and let me just give color is equals to primary something like this and let me just give the text as mark as delivered something like this and now let me just save these changes let's see what happens now over here we are able to get one button and this particular button is uh, like uh, it is added at the end and we are able to get um, the title as actions also the next thing that we want is we just want to add one click event on this button and whenever user will click on this button then we have to just call um 
we have to just call uh, like our uh, the API that we have just created. So let's see how we can do this. So first of all, we have to just add click event and then we have to just call one method like mark as delivered something like this. Now over here we have to pass some parameters. So as a parameter we have to pass um, like order ID. So how we can do this? First of all, let me just do one thing. Let me just pass the entire element. So over here we have this element that element we have to pass something like this and now let me just save these changes so this function or method is uh, not yet created so we have to create it so let me just go to the order detail dot component dot ts file and over here let me just add one new method that is mark as delivered and we have to just uh, give one parameter as of now let me just do one thing let me just use console dot log and let me just try to uh, like console.log the element that we are just receiving from the parameter now let me just save these changes and let me just open the google chrome and now let me just open the console and let's see whether it is printing the uh, expected values or not and let me just click on this uh, order id 17 so yes it is printing as expected so if you just see on the console we are able to get all the order details but we are just instead in interested in the order id so let me just do one thing let me just copy it like let me just copy the key which is order id and let me just paste it inside my um, html so let me just make it as element dot order id because i just don't want to receive like uh, all the details because i'm interested in the order id that is the reason i'm just adding it uh, something like this now over here we will receive only order id so we can just maybe change the name to the order id something like this and we can print the uh, order id something like this now the next thing that we have to do is we have to add one service function so if i just go to the product service ts we have to add one more function so let me just add something like public mark as delivered and this is going to take one parameter which is order id and what we have to just do is we have to just use return this dot http client dot get and then we have to give like our um, api so our api is http colon slash slash local host colon 9090 slash and then let me just copy the name so my order id yeah my api name is mark order as delivered something like this and after that we have to give a slash and at the end we have to append the order id something like this now let me just save these changes now if i just go back to the order detail component ts over here what we have to do is we have to like our product service is already injected so what we have to do we have to just call this dot uh, product service dot mark or mark as delivered and then we have to just pass the order id then we have to make subscribe method we have to make a call to the subscribe method so subscribe takes two callbacks first one is like for a success response so we have to just use response and maybe we can just do it as a console dot log response so as of now like we are not returning anything that is the reason we will not get uh, anything on the console but we can just try to make it as console.log and then we have to write second callback for the error also so if at all um, any error occurs then we have to like use our second callback so i'm just adding it something like this now let me just save these changes and let me just um, do one thing let me just come back to the google chrome and let me just refresh the application and let me just click on something so let me click on some button so as of now we are uh, getting response as a null so if i just refresh it let's see what happens so if you just see when i'm refreshing it i'm just getting the status as a delivered so over here what is happening is whenever i'm clicking on the button this particular table is not getting refreshed so for that what we have to just do is we have to just call our get 
all order details for admin method again so what we have to do is whenever i will get the response i just have to call this dot get order get all order details for the admin and now let me just save these changes let's see so if i'm clicking on it so if you just see instantly the order status is getting changed to the delivered something like this now one more thing that we have left back is now if you just see on line number second or maybe or for order id 17 the all the order status is already delivered itself that is the reason we don't have don't want to show this particular button because it is already delivered right so we don't want this particular button for this particular row so for this what we can just do is we can just add one condition inside our html and what we can just do for this button we can just add one condition we can just make like ng if star ng if and what we have to do is we have to just make if element dot order status is equals to equals to and we have to just call it as a placed so if order status is placed then and only then i just want to show this particular button that is the reason we have to add this ng if condition and now if you just see um, like uh, we are just um, like not getting uh, this button in front of these orders where status is already delivered right so now it, this particular application is making sense to me so i hope you got an idea around this like how we can um, add this particular button to mark any order as a delivered so as of now as i said previously we don't have any kind of delivery network or logistic uh, network that is the reason we have to follow this manual process so admin must have to confirm that uh, the product is delivered to the end user and then and only then admin have to mark it as a delivered. So this is how we have to just um, like use our application as of now at least. In the next session what we are going to do is we are just going to add few more filters at the, uh, uh, at the start. So we are going to add some filters over here so that uh, admin can filter the data like admin can uh, um, filter the data by the status or by the uh, like uh, if admin is clicking only delivered status then only delivered um, rows will be shown over here or if admin just want to see all the rows then we can we will show all the rows otherwise if admin just want to see like uh, placed orders then we can just filter out those placed orders only so these are the filters that we are going to add for the admin so that ad, uh, it, it it will be good idea for the admin to like filter the data according to his or her need right so i hope you got an idea around this if you still have any questions let me know into a comment section and i will try my best to help you out in that case and i hope you enjoyed this session and i'll see you in the next session